8CF versus LCM. I promise you the next fight was going to be a big one. You know? This one, if you know how students is mixed this up. As a math teacher, I see this mix up so many times. If, if I used to get a dollar every time this mix up, I will have a lot of dollars. All right, so 8CF versus LCM. The only thing common between these two is the actual word common. <laughs> and common here just means we are comparing numbers. We're looking at two numbers. So for both of them, we'll be looking at two numbers. Sometimes you can look at actually more than two numbers, two, three, four numbers. But let's just look at two for now. So we're looking at two numbers and we're trying to find something common about them. So with 8CF, you're trying to find a common factor. But not just a common factor. You're actually trying to find the highest common factor. So what about 12 and 8? Let's use that as our example. Now, 8CF and LCM at this level must be able to be completed in the mind of the student, especially for these small numbers. 12 and 8, at this stage, I want you to be able to find the highest common factor and the lowest common LCM in your mind. So, what's the 8CF of 12 and 8? Hmm. Factors think divisors, think exact divisors numbers that can go into they must be smaller they can be equal to the number or smaller so the first thing i do is watch the smallest number can eight go into 12 no so it has to be an even smaller number so what are the factors of 12 then the factors of 12 are and i'm going down from the highest 12 6 can 6 go into 8 no so it's not common can 4 go into 8 yes it most certainly can 4 is the highest common factor of 8 and 12 because it's the largest number that can go into 8 and can go into 12. Now, back in the days, what we would do is write out all the factors like this. 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4, 1, 8, 2, 4. Look at all the factors does pick out the highest and then come and say therefore four is the highest factor but i expect you now were you able to complete it in your mind because that's what i'm expecting of you now in your assignment challenge yourself to do everything mentally when it comes to hcf and lcm unless unless it's some big two digit three digit number but other than that these simple numbers try to do it in your mind so what about the lcm of 12 and 8 first thing i do is what's the highest number because LCM and ATF could sometimes be one of the numbers, but it isn't because 8 cannot go into 12. So, so then I would want to go using the biggest number. I like to use the biggest number for ATF and um, for LCM because it helped me to narrow down to the lowest common multiple really fast. 12 by 2 is 24. Can 8 go into 24? It most certainly can. 3 times 8 trees are 24. So 24 is the LCM, the lowest common multiple. Now notice this one is lowest common multiple. And when we're talking about factors, we want the highest common factor. These two acronyms are extremely important in many areas of maths, especially algebra, factorizing, um, simplification, all of that jazz. So make sure you understand how to find the HCF and LCM of especially these small numbers. I'll leave you with one more. What is the 8CF of 7 and 5? Come on, man. Remember, 8CF is not LCM. We're not multiplying. 8CF is dividing. The first number that can go into 5 and 7. Unfortunately, the answer is 1. And that's unfortunate because there doesn't seem to be another number that can go into 7 or 5 that's bigger than 1. Mm. So what do you think the LCM is going to be? In this case, because there are no common factors between the numbers, none at all, other than one, the LCM is the product of the two numbers. So seven by five is 35. That's actually the first number that seven and five can both go into. So I left you with a lot of important nuggets in this video. I hope you come back to it and watch it a few times. You know what? Maybe we'll go through it a little more intensely. Um, and trash out some ideas in the live class and get some feedback if you have some errors. Love and blessings. See you there.